what's going on guys so today we're going to be feeding the snapping turtle i got some fish and you can barely see him but there's a little crawfish in there too so there's the little crawfish and the fish i'm just going to put in there they're not really for him to eat he might eat them he might not the other ones that i have he hasn't been eating recently um the crayfish i've never fed him before so we'll see if he wants to eat that i also got a pinky so if he doesn't want to eat the crawfish i'll end up just feeding him that uh the pinky i got for the savannah monitor if uh he doesn't eat the crawfish though then we'll feed it to the snapping turtle instead all right so let's put these guys in here so they could acclimate and look at this guy he's already going for it so i'm gonna have to actually separate him so that he doesn't bite the bag because i'd be scared that he'll eat it look how big this dude is now he's gotten so huge let me wash him off so that you guys can see his real color look at that he looks so cool and this guy i might put him outside i don't know i'm kind of debating it making him like a little pond or something i might do it but i kind of like having him inside just because i could interact with him more like i always feed him and i feed the fish and all that when they're outside it's less interactions because everything is pretty much all uh, the way that i set up my outdoor enclosures they pretty much do everything oh, I, I can't put them in here bro seeing the way that i set up the enclosures everything's pretty much uh takes care of itself so let's let these guys acclimate and while that's going on we're going to talk about today's video sponsor and today's video sponsor is shadowsreptiles.com where you can get yourself a little baby sulcata tortoise right now these are the only ones that i have available i'm sold out on redfoots and everything else but i will have some more redfoots probably next month these guys are already sold though they're gonna be going out on monday but sulcatas i have about six of these guys left so if you're interested make sure you go check it out on shadowsreptiles.com i also got some merch on there it's not something that i really advertise much but if you want to check it out just click the merch link on the top of the website and of course right here i got my little babies these are my personal ones these are not for sale but i got a few leopards and my red foot tortoise with some marbling let me wet this guy so you can see him look at that show what a cool tortoise so i love this red foot can't wait to see how he looks when he's full grown he's getting his marbling is getting much thicker um the leopards uh if you guys don't know i live in florida and these guys if you bring an adult from another state or another country they don't actually do too well and they actually get respiratory issues because they're more used to the to the dryness uh the humidity here actually kind of messes with them and they could get respiratory infections look at that they poop so much all right here i have the snapping turtle which i took out of his enclosure so that he doesn't eat the bag and he's getting a little bit of sun as well let's see look at that chunky boy he has gotten huge. When I got him and he was like this big, I probably got him like at a week or two after he hatched out. A little bit of cactus for my children. All right, so feeding the cactus to some of these leopard tortoises and the red foot, some to the babies. And now let's get this guy, it started to rain on him. So let's see if he wants to eat a crawfish. All right, let's put this boy back in here. This is a little shallow. I'm gonna have to fill it up with some more water. Let's take these guys out of here and see if we want to eat some. All right, here we go. I'm using my leg as a tripod. That's the little hairy thing on the right there. So let's see if I can open this. There we go. Got this open. Pretty hard to do this with one hand. fish got out look at that i've never held a crawfish before that's pretty far let me get this fish here we go put this boy back in here for now let's release these guys in here hopefully the snapping turtle doesn't eat these guys at least not that fast he hasn't ate any of the other fish so i'm i'm thinking these are going to survive although they're a little bit brighter in color pretty cool these are actually the first fish that i bought to put in here all the other ones i caught at a canal i think i did it on video too for for one of the q a videos somebody asked me oh are you gonna get fish and i said yeah let's do it and we went to the canal and caught some but look at them over there pretty far i'm gonna fill this up with a little bit more water and here's the crawfish i've been wanting to get one of these guys for a while just to have it as a pet damn that guy is fast as heck where'd he go well 
He's gone somewhere in the rocks. I'm gonna fill this up with some more water and then we'll try to feed it. Look what I just found. These little troublemakers were all trying to eat this. Let's put this up here where none of them could reach it. They were all nibbling at the Ziploc bag. Sneaky. All right, but right now I'm just getting some more water so that we can fill up the tank a little bit before feeding it so that we get a better view. All right, let's put some water in here. Love. all right so there's the snapping turtle the crawfish is somewhere in there and i think i changed my mind i think i want to keep the crawfish and see if he'll be able to survive in here see how long he'll be able to survive because i'm sure this guy as soon as he gets a hold of him turn him apart so i'm just gonna feed him the pinky instead and hmm, should we feed it to him or should we feed it to the water monitor i don't know so many ideas you know i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna feed this guy the pinky and then in a future video, I'll either feed him a crawfish. I think I might want to feed a crawfish to this guy instead. I think that would be more fun to watch than the snapping turtle. You guys let me know in the comments. Would you rather see... Actually, you know what? Let's just do both. I'll just go and buy a bunch of crawfish. We'll feed some to him. We'll feed some to the snapping turtle. And we'll feed some to the savannah monitor. I think those are the only ones that I can feed crawfish to right now. I'm looking around to see what else. Those birds are so loud. Um, whenever they see people, they think that we're going to feed them. That's why they go crazy against the corner. Um, but eventually, they're going to be going outside, I think, in a couple more days because they're already starting to eat by themselves. Uh, we raised those up since they were babies. All right, anyways, let's let's start feeding this rat to this uh, snapping turtle. I'm going to... Here he is. I'm going to euthanize this guy so that, you know, he doesn't have to suffer getting ripped apart by the snapping turtle. So if you guys don't want to see that, make sure you click off the video now um, so you don't you know watch that all right so here we go this guy is ready to eat Beautiful. whoa 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 stop running okay. come here dude there we go So this baby mice are good so that he could get his own calcium, you know, some natural calcium. Um, I also feed him, I feed him a lot of things, mostly insects. Um, feed him, I fed him, this is the second baby mouse that I feed him, the pinky. Uh, he eats these little turtle pellets as well. I throw these mostly into, into feed the fish, but he does get them sometimes. Uh, the fish, I don't know if he's been eating or not. I have been seeing less fish uh, recently than I used to see before, but... Yeah, he definitely eats these, which is fine for them because, you know, it's the turtles. And it comes with a little bit of calcium and vitamin C, so that's good for him as well. Um, but I mostly try to feed him uh, bugs and things like that. And these guys, I read online that they don't... Look at him, he's trying to get the last little bits of the mouse. I read online that these guys don't need UVB lights or heat lamps, but... Um, I still give him a little bit of UVB every day by taking him outside, letting him swim like you saw earlier. And I just let him wa wander around in the either in the tub like you saw today, or I let him actually walk around outside so that he could completely dry up. Uh, but today it was raining a little bit, so I decided just to leave him in the tubs for the day. But look at him, he's so cool, and he's gotten huge over the past couple months. So this guy's name is actually Godzilla. I didn't mention his name earlier, I don't think. All right, but. All the new fish are here. Now, what I'm thinking might actually happen is, because I just saw it happen. These other fish aren't as scared because, you know, they're, they're um, captive fish. So they're not as scared of things as the wild ones that I caught. So the turtle actually swam up to it. Um, the turtle was going for one of these little pellets and the fish actually stayed right next to it. So I'm guessing that they might actually die off because of that. They're not as scared as these wild ones, but so far they've all been good and it's all right. You know, these I got kind of just for fun to add a little bit of color. If they die, then uh, that's fine if he eats them. But 
Um, if anything, I could always go and catch some more of these. Uh, I don't even know what they are. I'm pretty sure they're mosquito fish, but I could go catch them in the canal. That's like right next to my house. And look at this. All the yellow foots are eating some, well, two yellow foots are eating some cactus. So Kato is blocking the door. When I opened it up, I hit her. And Luna's right there. That's next. Pretty cool. These guys, I love to see them. They've been very active recently, especially because of all the rain. They destroyed that plant. I have to take it up. And how could we forget the little Hermans? Look at her. She's vibing right here. Just seeing what's going on. Here you go, girl. These guys are crazy. I see them climbing up the trees and eating the leaves off of them. They're pretty cool, though. As soon as one of them, as soon as I feed one of them, all of them start running out of here. I actually just want to take that. I'm going to feed the Cuban iguanas. Not the Cubans, the rhino iguanas. I don't like this. This guy's going to come out super fast. Oh, you see that? This guy's crazy. He kind of scares me sometimes. He, had, he acts tough, but look what he does. Fills this up with dirt, and now I can open the door. There we go. He acts all feisty, whips me, but reality, he doesn't mind me petting him. These guys, I'm trying to tame him up. The female's a little bit more skittish than him. He lets me mess with him. Like, he lets me pet him and all that. He does, he's super, like, twitchy and really fast. So whenever I pull out food, see, he jumps out super fast. You guys saw it earlier. Let me see. Oh, whoa, whoa. Watch out, dude. So you see, it. he gets a little scared, but then after I'm actually doing it, he's all right with it. He's pretty cool, dude. Big belly. This guy is getting huge. Let me see if I can pick him up. Nope, doesn't want that. All right, here you go. I love these iguanas. I've always wanted rhinos and Cubans, and now I got both of them. I got Bonnie and Clyde as rescues, the ones outside. I don't think I showed them in this video. And then these guys, Harley and Jay. This one's Jay. Um, I bought these two, though. I didn't get them as rescues. So I'm going to end off the video and let him finish. All right, so that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't, uh, make sure you leave a comment for a future suggestion. Turn on post notifications. Subscribe and have a great day.